Welcome to Home Culture. As always, I'm Ralph. And I'm Anna. In this video, we're going to be looking at three different ways that you can frost glass. One way is we're going to be using a spray on to frost the glass. Second method is using an etchant to actually get that frosted look on the glass. And the third way is using a vinyl adhesive deco. Decal. A deco to apply directly onto the glass itself. Of these three methods, the only one that's permanent is the etch. And it's the only one you can use outdoors. You would think that the spray on, because this is like spray paint, you'd think that this is permanent, but it's not. It can be removed, which is great and also not great. But we are going to try removing it using two different methods to see what works best. The vinyl adhesive decal is awesome. Deco is awesome for flat surfaces and you can get really intricate with it. This is the one we're gonna do right now and I first need to go and cut out a shape or cut out an image using my Cricut. All right, so let's go and cut out the, the deco. Tomato, tomato, it's the same thing, okay? So how about we just get to it then? While Anna's working on the decal, I only say deco just to annoy her, but that's our little secret. I wanna show you where it's gonna be going. This right here is a server rack, and this is like the brains of the house. It controls a lot of the smart features of the home. But on the server rack, there's just a plain glass here, and I just want to customize it, make it a bit more personal. And also, we'll get a chance to see how that vinyl adhesive works and how it's going to end up looking on here. So let's go and check in with Anna and see how she's doing with cutting out the vinyl adhesive. For the server rack, Ralph created his own design and I uploaded it into the Cricut Design Space. So let's find it. Because I'm the one who uploaded it, I know I can just click on Uploaded and it's the last thing I did. So here it is and I'm going to add to Canvas. We want it to fill the whole 12 by 12 sheet. So if I go 11 and a half, well, that makes it a little bit too big. So let's try 11 and a half here. This looks pretty good. It'll cover most of the sheet. There's nothing else I need to do. I don't want to add any text. I don't need to do any adjustments. I'm just ready to cut it out. This part looks fine. I can continue. I wasn't sure what to set the dial to, so I looked it up online. For this project, I'm using the Sizer Easy PSV to make it look like etched glass. This is the Sizer website, and I have this Cricut right here, and they say to use the setting of vinyl. Perfect. I now know I need to switch it to vinyl, and I'm ready to load my map. And we're ready to go. Now I just have to hit the flashing Cricut button. finish and now I can go weed the image. This is the result the next day. This is a perfect piece to frost by spray painting because it has these difficult to reach details and it doesn't need to be food safe on the outside. I use this for putting like mini eggs and eggies in during the holidays. And then when you're kind of getting to the bottom, all those broken candy bits sit here on the bottom and it looks, it looks messy. So if I frost just the bottom portion here, it'll hide that and it gives it some character. First, I'm gonna tape off and cover the parts that I don't want frosted. A business card is the exact height of where I want to put the tape, so I'm just gonna use it as a ruler. Nope, I taped off the wrong end. Ah, I have to redo it all over. I wanna tape the other side, I made it too short. 
Ah, oh, bugger. It's all taped up and that took a bit longer than it's supposed to, but it's all done. And now I just need to wipe it with some alcohol and that's just to get off like any of my fingerprints and to leave it really, really clean. I'm going to take this to the spray tan and give it a minimum of two coats and wait like two minutes in between each coat. When I first spray it on, it's going to look wet. The frosted look takes about 10 minutes to kick in. So I'm going to do, I don't know, two, three coats and then I'm going to come back later because you can reapply it whenever. Like you don't have to, it's not like a one time deal and you're done. You can reapply it if it doesn't look thick enough. So let's go spray. Using an etching cream might seem intimidating, but really of all these three techniques, etching is the easiest. I'm using Armor Etch and this process is so simple. All you do is shake the container and paint it on. I'm going to be etching this Pyrex dish. I cut out a decal with my Cricut and it says, let's eat. So flip it over, like paint on the etch and leave it there for about a minute. It says no longer than a minute, but I've definitely left it on way longer than a minute and nothing's happened. It turns out the same. And the instructions say that it doesn't etch all Pyrex, but I've done it probably my third time using this one and it's anchor hawking and it etches great. So let's get etching. So the etch is on, nice and thick everywhere. And you can see that it's chunky. There's like chunks in it. And that's normal. That's supposed to be like that. Another thing to know about this is it's reusable. You can just, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna scrape it all back and put it into the jar. You don't have to rinse this off and like wash it down the drain or throw it out. It's reusable. If you're concerned that you're gonna get etch on the, like on other parts of your project, you can just put some painter's tape or masking tape around it. So now we're just waiting for our minute. Let's say it's been about a minute and now I'm just gonna scrape off, I'm just using an old gift card and I'm just gonna scrape it all off and into my jar. I can already see that it's been etched. Now the next part is even easier. You wash it just with warm water and soap. It's, this is like pretty much the project done. Let's see, it's all just going back in. I'm going pretty gentle to like not disrupt like the edges of my decal in case I didn't push somewhere down really well. Okay, let's go wash this. I'm gonna peel off the decal now. There's a little etch right in there, which I'm gonna just wash off. And then I'll show you what it looks like, cause it looks awesome. It does show up really nice in person. I don't know if you can see that so easily on the camera, 
maybe if I put the lid behind it. It's still drying, so it's a little bit blotchy, but look how awesome that looks. Let's eat. Well, we've covered three different methods, and I would say that the vinyl application was my least favorite. That was a lot of work. I agree. The final appearance of the frosted look with the vinyl application, it was okay. It was okay. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Of, of the three methods we've used, that's my least favorite. And along with what Anna said, it's the most difficult to do. Now, my most favorite is spraying on. And that could totally be just because I love spray painting everything. But I liked the process and I really liked the finished result. I, like, I think this looks store-bought. It does look good. It looks good. But personally, I prefer the final look of the actual etch. I think that looks the best when it comes to frosting glass. And it's probably like the easiest, you would yeah, say? Yeah, that's definitely the easiest to okay, do. Okay, and that's probably like the easiest way. And we got a great result that way. So, like, personally, if I had to do another project, I'd either pick the gel etchant or I would pick the spray to get that frosted look. The vinyl, it was okay. It's fine. I, I will continue to use these two. Yeah. Two final things. Ralph did think it was weird that I was using a credit card to put, apply, <laughs> to take off the etch. He was wondering why I was doing that. It's just because it's so thin and flexible. It just, it's so much easier to scrape off than say like a spatula or anything like that. So that's why I used a, cre a credit card. <laughs> and then we had mentioned removing the spray on. On the can it says you can remove it with acetone. So we're gonna give it a go and see how this works out. And if I wipe it with, this is damp, if I wipe it, nothing happens, it's wipeable. So if you're doing like a candy dish like this and it gets dirty, you just wash it, it won't get damaged. So do you wanna try removing this with some nail polish? Let me go at it. Here is our acetone and let's see about pouring some on here. This was spray painted about five days ago. It's a little bit hard to, ooh, that just You came can see out. where it came off nice and easy there. Ooh, that's super easy. Is it, someone said that it's very scratchable. Can you try just scratching it with your nail? Like if you just ran over one of the other spots, does it scratch easy? It does. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh gosh, yeah, definitely. So don't use an abrasive on it, but if you do, I guess you could just take it all off with some nail polish remover and a scraper. Yeah, yeah it comes off. Acetone and a, and a blade, and there you go. You can clean it up and redo it. So that was three different ways that we went through to frost glass. Thank you for watching. Remember, like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And remember to check us out on Instagram. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I don't know where I looked. I looked at you because I thought you were going to look at me, so I don't know what I'm doing.